this is a trip right here. Girl, they always trying to say something. They always trying to do something. So this young, poor black girl from London, honey, is trying to rain on Lizzo's parade, okay? Because you know Lizzo, she making them hits. One, number one, number one. Although um, she's not number one anymore, look at here. So you guys can see here the billboards, right? Look who's number one, Travis Scott. Travis Scott. Just after recently he broke up with Kim Kylie. What's her name? Did I say her name? Kim Kylie? Kim? No, nah, damn. What's her name? Kylie Jenner. Yeah, so right after he broke up with Kylie Jenner, because you know people were talking about some, um, is his sales going to go down? You know, is the Kylie Jenner going to put the curse on that ass? But look like um, he's number one. And then people would say, well, shit, they probably did that breakup thing. That probably was just a scheme, girl. That was just probably a scheme to get records. But shit, if it did, it works, didn't it, honey? They always got something going on. The Kardashians and the Jenners, they stay with a storyline on social media honey got me to thinking is Kanye West doing all this goddamn you know church parade is that for a storyline too girl if it is it's a good one honey okay <laughs> listen they be working overtime okay they are the 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 kings and queens of reality tv okay <laughs> so anyway Girl, 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 you see Truth Hopes number two. So I don't know if she beat Fancy or not, but I know that's what she wanted to do. So let's go back here. Oh, shit, at the wrong one. Okay, here we go. It says, the girl who... Ele oh, shit, hold on. Before I continue, I need y'all to do me a favor, okay? Make sure y'all like this video. Share this video. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Gossip Girl XOXO. You know you love me. And I love you guys, too. I am your host, Miss Gigi. Welcome, Gossip Community. So let's gossip. So here we go. This said, this, the girl who allegedly started the phrase, I just did a DNA test, turns out I'm 100% that B, says Lizzo team is paying her dust, okay? She says, I did a DNA test and found out I'm 100% that B. That was February the 24th, 2017. Uh, she says, what I cannot get over is how Lizzo and her team have been ignoring my whole presence. They're doing it because they know I have no capital to address her. I just a poor black girl from London that don't have a dog in a fight, okay? So I guess she want her credit. She wants some coins, all right? Because she said, when I said it, I ain't get shit. Ain't nobody studying me but some damn likes. When I said it, I ain't get no money. I ain't get nothing. But let Lizzo put in the song. Oh, she get all this money and recognition, and now she wanna make T-shirts and banana peels with the with the, with, the, with, the, with my slogan. Oh hell no. Nah. Okay. <laughs> so let's go here. So guess what? It says some um, other people's coming for it. Lizzo in songwriting um, over Truth Hurt DNA test lyrics. Um, here it is. It's, it shows two guys. Justin um, say the line. I just I just took a DNA test. Turns out I'm um, that came from a writing ses session, which they were a part of. They claimed they've been trying to sort out the issue for two years, but have been shut down every time. Lizzo lawyer, Cynthia, has denied their claims. In a post on Instagram, Justin and Jeremy said they wrote a song called Healthy with Lizzo and two of the writers at the studio in April 2017th. They say the line, I just took a DNA test, turns out I'm 100% that was taken from the song and used in Truth Hurts, okay? So, girl, everybody wants some claims and truth hurts with that song. So, these are the two guys that accused Lizzo of being in the studio session with them and stealing that line, honey, okay? But y'all know if y'all would have said that line, ain't nobody going to be studying, y'all. Y'all need to stop, okay? B, I thought y'all, ain't they Christians? I thought we supposed to give, okay? It's all right. It's all right. Give. Why y'all mad that she making the money out of I don't know. I'm taking Lizzo's side. Maybe you call me bias, favorite, whatever. 
But if I said something and somebody took it and make so much money off of it, I know in my heart that if when I said the shit, I ain't make no money. <laughs> I know in my heart that I didn't have that power of influence. Um, but would I do want some credit? It would be nice, you know. But if I did not get any credit, and I if I liked the person, I would say, go on, girl, have it. Have it, girl, have it, if I liked it. Now, if I didn't like this motherfucker, and if... I said something, and then like if Donald Trump said it, oh, hell no. <laughs> now, let a Donald Trump or somebody I don't care for, like a fabulous, oh, he better not ever stick my shit. If fabulous says something that I said, or um, who else, who else sound like, you know, them women beat us and them uh, shit, you know? So if they said, then I'll raise hell. But if it's somebody that I'm cool, you know, or... If Gabrielle Union was to say it or whatever, I wouldn't get, I mean, it's like whatever. But that's just me. Everybody is not like that, you know. We got a whole bunch of Christians, but a lot of homeless people, and these Christians are rich. So I don't know, honey. Everybody want more money, more money, more money. So here we go. Um, so I guess they're putting number one truth hurt. So let's go here. Um, so this is Jeremy and Justin or whatever. I thought I saw some pictures of them once upon a time. So here is Lizzo and these two boys. And this is a studio session. And there you have it. So comment. We want to know from you guys. Do you think that Lizzo owes them some money? How do we know that they created it? Those two guys and that girl, from that poor black girl, as she claims herself from London, how do we know that she created it? You know, she could have got that shit from her damn sister. You know what I mean? Shit. And is it possible that two people in different cities can come up with the same phrase? I think it's possible. Shit. But anyway, like I said, maybe I'm biased because I'm signed with Lizzo. And um, comment, let us know what you guys think about this. Uh, Hillary Clinton is saying it. Um, and it says it's been reported that Lizzo has filed to trademark part of the line to use on her clothing merchandise. Now, this is where it gets a little funky. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Not a song. Okay. Now, you trademarking it on your t-shirts and you jack... Oh, you really, really making money off this damn phrase. <laughs> no, nah, Lizzo, you need to give that back to the originator. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, whoever originated and you know you ain't come up with that, then I feel like they should profit, profit off of t-shirts and jackets and beanies and all that other stuff and let you have the song, but let them... Because that just deals with that quote, you know? However, if they would have sell the, the t-shirts and the jackets and um, they just said a quote, it wouldn't have sold, right? Or it would have sold, we wouldn't know. I think it still would have sold because if it's a good quote, it's a good quote, right? So this isn't the first time they've been controversial over the lyrics. So they talking about that other girl that we talked about earlier. Um, so people are calling her um, a thief in the night, okay? So comment, let us know what y'all think about this. I know you better not fuck with Lizzo food. Okay. <laughs> comment, let us know what you guys think, and I'll see y'all sooner than later. Bye.